Hey guys, Facebook peeps, how y'all doing? Okay, I'm a little, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. But something, something, and I'm trying to talk really soft, but maybe I need to speak up so you guys can hear me. So, look what I'm doing. I'm finishing up the last two of the doll, spoon dolls that I have. Okay? Um, so, yeah. What I'm going to let you see is me putting on her face. Now, I have to tell you, I made a mistake and put the dress on first. Usually, I do the faces first, obviously, so the dress doesn't get all messed up with paint and all that. But I was so in a hurry to check out this dress because look how I made it. I made this dress on a slant. So I gave it a particular style, which was the first time doing that. And I guess I just couldn't wait to put it on, you know, to put it on. So uh, I forgot all about the face, and uh, now she's got a dress on. Now she's got to do her makeup. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to wrap her in something and then and then work on her like this so she doesn't get dirty, when her, her dress doesn't get dirty, okay? So what I'm going to do, so you saw that I drew the face on. I drew the face on. Let's see. You guys are a little further on. I drew the face on. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I have paint. I have black paint. Okay. I have black paint. Should I put, you know what? I think I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh no, I don't want to ruin this paint. Okay, here you go. I'm going to use a piece of, if I could get it out, yeah. See, the, the worst thing that could happen is I spill this whole thing of paint all over this table, and that would be disastrous. Okay, here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some paint on this thing here, on this piece of board, piece of cardboard. Which is a cereal box, by the way. I save everything because um, stuff comes in handy when you do your crafts. So I, I eat Kellogg's cornflakes and, uh, and I save the box. Okay. And I cut up the box and I save it in a corner. So what I'm going to do first is, okay, so you saw that I, um, I penciled in the face. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it with this black um, marker here. So here it goes. Yeah, hold it steady. Oh, that's looking pretty good already. You know what happens with these markers though, I notice? Maybe I gotta start buying a better brand, a better brand of markers, because the longer you use it, then it becomes kind of um, it starts out dark, and then you kind of have to go over it because it kind of loses its. Uh... Okay, loses its darkness. See, I made a mistake already. But not to worry. It can be fixed with paint. Okay, so there's the hair outline. I don't know if you can see that. There's the hair outline. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the face. There's the eyebrow. Okay. See, it's awkward to do it because she should have been flat, but I've got this dress on her and now she's not as flat as I ooh, as I need her to be. So there's one eye. Again, see this, it gets kind of dull after, I guess when the air gets to it. So I have, luckily I have another one. So let's see. Yeah, see, that's much darker. And uh, she's got to get some eyelashes. And then do the other one. So 
So this one came out darker. Okay, so there she is, somewhat. Yeah, these things start to dry out the minute the air gets to them. I bet, and this is Sharpie, but I bet you there's a better brand where that doesn't happen. Um, hmm, should I do her nose in black? Yeah, I guess I might as well continue with the black. I was going to do it in brown for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do... I thought I had... I thought I had a thinner, I had a fine point, but it dried out on me. I had a real fine point, which is this, look how fine, but not in it. Gotta get another one. Okay, so that's that. So I have to, I have to do it with this one. And this one's kind of thicker than that one. I need a fine point for this, but we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. So, what I was saying is, I'm gonna outline it first with the pencil, and then I'm gonna go in with the paint. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the paint. Pink, 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 black paint. So I, re I need a real fine. Now this is like the finest one I have. Fine point. Okay. All right. It's kind of working. Okay, so this is what you learned in school. Paint, paint in the lines, right? Paint in the lines. Stay in the lines. I'm trying to get this little corner right here. And sometimes my hand shakes too, so. Oh, not bad. Okay. Okay, let's see if I get the other one. Let's see. Oh, oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So there she is. Voila. I think I'm going to bring this down a little bit more this way. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. And so now I'm going to take it up the sides, take it up the sides, and then I'm going to have to fill in the back. Have to be real careful with the side. And my hand shakes on time. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's see now, just... Take your time.
filler in all the way in the back. Okay. Now I'm noticing that the back is kind of rough, so what I could have done before I started this whole process is I could have sanded her down with a, a piece of fine um, sandpaper, but I didn't. But it's the back, so it's not that. But I can feel that it's rough while I'm painting it, so I could have done it with a piece of fine, um, just to be a perfectionist, you know, which I can be sometimes, most of the times. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let me give her a nice rounded, rounded thing here. Rounded neck. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if that's better. Take this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right, let me see, I'm going to show you what she's looking like. Look at that, look at that, can you see that? Yep, I think she's coming out okay. Now, I'm going to have to let her dry. So, oh, got to protect that dress, got to protect that dress. So I'm going to wrap her around and I'm going to lean her up on this thing right here. There you go. Lean her there. And then I can do this one whose dress I have over here. Look at the dress for this one. Isn't that cute? And uh, she's got a slip. You see how old habits die hard? Because Okay, I was going to tell my age, but I won't say what I was going to say. But slips were in fashion at one point. That's the point I'm making. So I tend to add a slip. Some people doing these might not add a slip, but yeah. I'll be right back because I have to iron this. So, I've got a slip and a skirt here for this one. But again, face first, right? Face first. Now, I'm going to give her a simple face. Okay, I'm doing a preview here because I wasn't going to show you this until the end. But look at this one. Look how she came out. So, I'm giving her a face like this one. Real simple face. Real easy to do. Real easy to do. So, I'm going to take my marker. Let's see if this one's got some good stuff. Oh, yep. Got some good stuff in it. And uh, let's see. Two eyes. And two eyes and a mouth. That's it. Okay. Real simple. There you go. She's a real cutie pie. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see it? Okay. See? Real simple. I think I need to wrap this up a little bit. Is that? Anyway, there she is. Real simple. So after I do that, then what I have to do is, I have to do this. I have to, um, oh, wait a minute. I need to do the shoes. I need to do the shoes. So the shoes, how I do that is I just take a line up from the bottom and try to go up as straight as possible. 
Okay, that's supposed to represent two legs. And then uh, she's got a green dress on. Green paint, green paint. Hmm. Or should I give her black shoes and be done with it? Let's see, I always have to do extra. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Okay, do I have green paint or do I have green paint? Let's see. Oh, oh, it's almost the same color. Good, 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 good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, what I do is I do a little round little thing here to represent shoes. Okay. And that's it. So now all I have to do is color. Oh, this. Oh, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. This brush is no good. So let's take a. Oh, this is a nice, nice little fine point one right here. I put this um, pack from Walmart. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? People who will appreciate uh, art tools will love this. Okay, so that's okay. So yeah, what I was saying is. Okay, I can't take out of the top because it's so hard, so I gotta take from the, from the bottom. And then uh, all I do is, oh, that's pretty. All I do is do the, sh oh shoot, do the shoes. I, I went past the black line, so I gotta draw the black line again to show the two separate shoes. Let's see. I'm just going to do the bottom. I'm just going to just going to do the bottom. Do the bottom. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Okay, I spoiled it. So I'll be not spoiled it, but the black line I went past the black line so I have to draw the black line again. Let's see. There you go. There you go. Oh, looking nice. And it, it matches. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that green. Well, you can see the green here. Look at that color. That color matches this. Look at that. Okay, the gods are lining up. Because I'm glad I had that color. Matches it. Right? All I have to do is not get it all on me. Okay, so she's got shoes. That's got to dry. Okay, this one's got to dry. Sometimes what I do is I'll fan it. Fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it. Okay, I'll be right back because I got to wash this brush. Actually, I didn't have to. Well, yeah, I, I needed to wash this brush because when you use paint, you need to really clean up really quickly because brushes get spoiled if you don't wash them out. But those of you who are artists, you know this. So what am I doing now? Oh, okay. So I'm letting I'm letting her shoes dry, and I'm going back to her. And what I have to do with her is I have to do her eyes. So I have to paint. And I'm going to use a toothpick. Okay, watch this. I'm going to use a picnic. A picnic. I'm going to use a, a toothpick. And, again, I'm going to pour a little bit of... Oh, oh, too much, too much, too much. Okay. hate to waste anything. Okay, so I'm going to roll the toothpick in the paint. And then I'm going to... I'm going to steady hand... I'm going to paint the inside of that eye with white paint, okay? Okay, that was almost too, that was like too much. 
You just need a little bit. You just need a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So again, she's got to dry. Oh, I did the same thing for the last time. When you put paint like that and then you start fanning it, it spreads. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Let's see. Oh, okay. Come on, black marker, help me fix this situation. Okay, give her back her eyelashes. All right. It's going to look kind of cross like maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, well, we, oh, see, we're going to let her dry. This is what I was supposed to do as opposed to fanning the whole spoon because it made that paint spread. But Okay, so while I have, while I'm working on, on her, I might as well do her lips, right? I might as well do her lips. There you are. Okay, so that's what she's looking like so far. Look at that. Okay, so she's got to dry. Now hopefully, I think she's dry. I think this one's dry. So now, so now she's got her face on and she's got her shoes. So now I can coat her. Oh, oh it's a good thing I eat spinach. Hmm. Put me in olive oil, right? We know what we're doing. Okay. But did olive oil eat spinach with Popeye? I don't know. They were pretty close. Maybe she did. I don't know. Anyway, what I have to do... No, I need a bigger brush than that one. Where's my other brush? Brush, brush, brush. Where are you? Let me see. Yep, here it is. Much broader brush. If you use a small brush, I'll be here all night. You use a bigger brush to get the job done faster. So, okay. So this is a um, this is Mod Podge. This is this is decoupage glue, and it seals anything with a nice, beautiful, shiny finish. But it's clear, so this is gonna look really nice when it's um, when it's dry. Okay. So again, um, you gotta put the face on, and then you gotta coat it with some um. My Podge. I'm trying to be stingy with it because, you know, this, this stuff is expensive. So, craft tools are expensive. Very expensive. I mean, you can, you can find stuff. I like, like Michaels, the craft store Michaels, if anybody's familiar. Um, they have coupons where you can get stuff, you know. I mean, if any of you are thinking about doing something like this, you go online and you get coupons, and, and, and you can save sometimes. Or you go in and you catch stuff on sale when they're having sales. Yep, that's what I do. So, yep. And long ago, when, long ago, when I first started crafting, Things, crafts, craft stuff was cheap. Oh my God. They used to have this store called Bonanza. Oh my goodness. I used to go in there and get all kinds of stuff. Cause I used to make, um, I used to make wreaths, Christmas wreaths, wreaths for your door, wreaths for any occasion. I used to make hearts, Valentine's, all kinds of stuff. I had my stuff in the mall, one of the malls in Queens too at one time. Now here's a funny story, right? Uh, funny, not funny. Funny how, you know, funny in a way, but really not funny, if you know what I mean. I had my stuff at the mall, and the way it worked is I paid $50. I remember it was $49.99 or something like that, and you pay for a shelf in a store in the mall. Okay, so in the mall, there was this beautiful store, big glass windows on both sides, and when you looked in from the outside, all you saw was beautiful things that people had made, handmade stuff, right? So what they were offering is you could rent a shelf for $49.95 per month and you got a whole shelf. Put your stuff on the shelf. Now when your stuff sold, and then people came in from the mall and bought stuff. When your stuff sold, 
the guy that owned the the, uh, the you know the store, he would sell you stuff, and then he would take his percentage. I forget what the percentage was, but he would take his percentage, and then the rest was yours. And then at the end of the month, he would send you a check. And you know he could keep inventory because you had to label all of your stuff with a little tag, and um, you had your price on the tag, and then you had your number. So when somebody came up to the register with your with your item and he cashed them out, then he would register that it was your stuff because it had your number on it. So that's how he kept, you know, up to date on what you sold and what somebody else sold. Um, so, yeah, my stuff was selling. But guess what? I wasn't getting a check, right? So I, I made, I made, I was going to say I made the mistake, but I had to at some point. I told my husband, right? My husband marched right up to the store. <laughs> my husband wasn't afraid of anybody, right? He marches right up to the store. And I was at home because he wouldn't let me go. So he goes to the store. I don't know what was said because, like I said, I wasn't there. The back and forth, back and forth. My husband's like, I don't want to hear it. I better have a check the next time I come back in here. And he took all my stuff off the shelf and he brought it back home. So... So then I had to I had to do flea markets I had to do uh, craft fairs you know to sell some of my stuff um, so yes yeah, so I said all that to say I make um, <laughs> I make floral arrangements too well they were they were wreaths I did baskets all kinds of stuff um, I did bows where I used this kind of stiffening thing and I would make it stiff but I would tie the fabric into a bow. And then paint it with the stuff that made it stiff so that you had a bow that you could hang on the wall. Beautiful. I used to make really nice stuff. And, um, yeah. So that was the one time that I had my stuff in the mall. Uh, this was in Queens. So, yeah. So I made some the other day because I still had some stuff left over. So I took, every, I took a lot of them apart. And then I remade them into something else. So I have some that I'm going to put up. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to show you some um, that I'm going to put up on my site. So, yeah. So I like making all kinds of stuff. Oh, my gosh. I really do. So let's see. Put the top back on this paint because paint dries out. Let's see how these eyes are doing on this lady right here. Okay, her eyes are dry. Look at this. I hate Okay, I'm making a mess here now. I hate when I get stuff all over my table. You see my craft table, right? This is my dining table, which I got to tell you something funny. Sometimes um, when the holidays roll around, and I've made videos, so some of you have seen my, my uh, Thanksgiving table, the way I set it, and my Christmas table. So this table will be messy like this, right? I would pan to it, but trust me, it's messy. It's got, it's covered. The whole dining table is covered with stuff, okay? And what will happen is, one night, we'll all go to bed. And then my sons will wake up in the morning, and the whole table will be just perfectly set. Beautiful in a Thanksgiving theme or a Christmas theme. And the boys will be, you did this overnight? <laughs> yeah, because I'll be busy as a bee. Let me tell you, if I wanted to do it tonight, tomorrow morning, this whole table could be beautifully set with tablecloth, ta uh, placemat napkins, napkin rings, the whole nine yards, okay? Glassware, knife and fork, everything. I mean, it's crazy, but yeah. So when I get started, I, you know, I work like crazy. So, um, okay, so yeah, she's dry. And what can happen now is I can put, I can put her eyes in, let's see. Oh shoot, she's not completely dry. She's not completely dry. So I better leave her alone because when you push it, see that white paint, it's very clumpy. Okay, so you know what? Since I put the stuff on her, she looks still a little tacky. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, I didn't finish the whole thing. And if it was if it wasn't the bottom, I would leave it. But it's not. 
yeah I would, mm. it's the bottom so it's gonna show under the dress so I have to do it or else I wouldn't bother to do it yeah so yeah I gotta give her a good coating and on the bottom too I got paint on my hand surprise surprise right why wouldn't that happen if I'm working with paint but you know girls don't like to get stuff on them Ooh, I got paint on me. Okay. It's like it's just like how we don't like spiders. I don't do spiders. I don't do spiders. I don't do um let's see what else. Spiders. Oh, centipedes. Oh my god. I do not do centipedes. Mm -hmm. If I catch a centipede in this house, they all gotta die. The mother, the father, and their dog. Okay? Yeah, I don't play that. I don't play centipedes at all. So, so now this got to dry. Oh, you see that? It's tacky and I stuck to my hand. Okay, that's a good thing it's below the dress, so that's going to hide. <sighs> Believe it or not, I still have my um, air conditioner in the window because it's been warm. And I gotta sweep leaves up tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta sweep leaves up tomorrow. It's about that time. I think I'm gonna do her nose a little better. Yeah, yeah that white paint, I had this problem before. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is she dry? Yeah, she dry. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, okay, slip first. Slip first. So this is her slip. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to I know I bought some white thread up here. Where is it? White thread, where are you? Oh, here it is. It's, it's in my bobbin. It's in my bobbin. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I decided, I hope this isn't too long for you guys. Whoever doesn't want to watch, don't want to watch, it's fine. But I thought you would like to see the process of at least one of these dolls and how I do it. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um... Yeah, because, you know, it's it, it'll get detailed. It'll get a little long. So, but. Okay. So now, what I do is, I think it's this end. So now what I do is, I take this, and I start making, hmm. I should do it more to the top. Yeah, I should do it more to the top. And what I'm doing now is I'm making gathering stitch, okay, all along the top of this, all around. I'm going to do that all the way around it. I didn't even measure this. I make each doll as I go. So in other words, I should have, though, I should have measured this so that I know what length to make the next one, but the next time I make it, I'll do that. I just, I just get excited and I start doing it. And hmm, no, you know what? Oh, I, there's another doll that I have to show you. I did make a pattern. I took some brown paper from one of the bags from Walmart because now you have to, you know, Walmart doesn't give um, plastic bags anymore. Now you got to buy a bag for five cents or you bring your own. So I've got these brown paper bags that I um got from Walmart and I um and I cut it up and I made a pattern for this one dress and I'll I'll show you that one dress. I better put these markers away from my fabric because the last thing I need is to get markers on my fabric. Okay, here we go. Continuing around. Yeah, so I made a pat a pattern 
for it one of the dresses out of brown paper. Yeah, but you remember I was saying that I should have um, taken the measurements of this because I don't know how wide and how what what the measurements of this piece of fabric is that I have, um, so that I can make another one when I get ready to. Although I don't know, I I think I told you in my first video these I got five of these things and I don't know if I'll make more because I got so many other so much other stuff I want to make. What happened here? Oh, okay. There you go. I have so much other stuff I have. I want to make. Oh, you wouldn't believe. I want to make this. Um. It's a photo book, but it's completely handmade with um. With paper um paper inserts that you know that I'm gonna make for it. So it's not your regular photo book that you buy in store. So let's see how this came out. So there you go. See? So that's a slip. Wait a minute now. Okay, yeah, I did I needed to continue this, let's see. Yeah, I needed to continue that. Let's see. So now, so you see what happens when I gather that? Look at that. See what happens when I gather it? Cute little slip, right? Look at that. It's all gathered and nice. So now all I have to do is slip her in. Slip her in. And continue to pull it tight. Pull it tight. See? Look at that. See? So that's your slip. Wait a minute. I think I could have. I think I could have gone around some more. Did I stop there? Yeah, I stopped there. I should have gone around some more. And stopped right there. To make it even. Uh oh. What happened? Don't tell me. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to slip her in, slip her in, decide where I want to, you know, where I want to put it. So I'm not going to start all the way up here where I think her neck is. I'm going to start a little below because remember, there's a skirt. That's just a slip. Here's the skirt that has to go on, right? So I'm going to start a little below where her neck would be, and I'm going to pull this real tight. I'm going to make sure I get the back. Where's the back? Make sure I get the back. Okay, yeah, there's the back. Make sure I get the back. And then pull it. And then I'm going to add some stitches to tight to um add some stitches. Okay, you know what? You know what I've done in the past? What a oh don't tell me I didn't have my glue gun on. Ugh. Damn, come on glue gun, you gotta hot up real quick. Damn, I forgot to put the glue gun on. Okay, so cause what I'll yeah, cause what I'll do well, let me put some stitches in. Cause what I'll do so I'll put put some stitches in the back. And tighten it up that way too. Yeah, put some stitches in the back. Tighten it up that way. Ouch. Yeah, tighten it up that way. Keep them in the back in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take some more stitches through here. I've got a fireplace going on my TV. Just because I was trying to find um, some music, nice soft music to play, but couldn't find it. I came across the fireplace, so I said, let me do the fireplace. 
So that's why you hear crackling over there. So let's see, I'll put more, put a couple more. Make sure to get my finger out the way. Put a couple more. You hear the crackling? Okay. All right, so that's that. So you know what? This is not long enough to do the skirt, so I'm going to hate to waste things, but I'm going to do that. So while this, um, while the glue gun is heating up, I'm going to do the other skirt. So, oh. okay, so that. I got my reading glasses on so I can thread this needle and do up close work. I will to do up close work too. So let's see. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. Okay, so now we have the skirt. Look at the skirt. Look how cute. It's got lace on the bottom. Okay, look at that. Cute, right? Yeah. This is the back. So, again, I'm going to, I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to start on this side. And I'm going to go make a gathering stitch like the other one all the way around. All the way around. Yeah. It's still very nice outside, right? I mean, you know, for all I care, it could stay like this all year long because winter is not my thing. It's not my thing. So we go all the way around. I gotta sweep leaves tomorrow because I hate when it looks nasty and with stuff all outside. I can't stand that because when I look out my window, I'm like, ugh, that doesn't look good. So I gotta sweep up some leaves. Some people around here just like, what are you sweeping leaves for? They're gonna continue to fall. Yeah, but that's the least, that's, that's the less I have to pick up, you know? If you pick up a little bit at a time, then it's not such a big chore. If you wait until they all fall, then you've got a big job on your hands. So I like to, um, I like to pick them up a little at, you know, a little at a time. It's not so little out there either, to tell you the truth. So here we go. I've, I've run the stitch all the way around and I'm going to pull it. Okay, I'm going to pull it. There you go. Okay, I think I didn't. Oh, but anyway, this is how it looks. Look how cute. Cute little, cute little skirt, right? Look. Sure, I like to wear that skirt. I better make me one like that, okay? Better make me one like that. I used to make my own clothes. From when I was 16 in high school, I used to make my own clothes. Let's see. I think I need to. Yeah. I don't know why it's 
when I gather it looks kind of funny. Maybe it's because I'm pulling that side up. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Blue Gun, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so put that put that on the side. And uh, let's see. This glue gun is ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue all the way around here. Let's see, I have to test it. Testing one, two, three. Oh yeah, it's ready. You know, I really need to clean up my table. This this is getting out of hand. So what I'll do is put glue around it like that, and then bring the skirt down to where I want it, like right there. And cinch and uh, press it in together where the glue is. Of course, I got glue all over my hand. So, make sure the back is in the back. Oh, wait a minute. Where's, where's the back of the top? Okay, the back is a little off. Let's move it around a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now the back is in the back. Okay, so. So, and um, since that's not enough, so, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, put some hot glue directly on my hand. That's, that hurts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, yeah, bring it, huh? Oh. So, um, I had a little spatula here, but I'm going to use this. Just spread this glue all the way around on top of the fabric. So the glue. Okay, so I think that skirt's going to stay in place. And, and there you have it. You have, you have a slip. Uh, yeah, you have a slip. Okay, look at that. You have a slip. You have a doll with a slip, with a face, and shoes. Right? That's what we have so far. Shoes, a face, and a slip. Okay. Yeah. But I just, I just hope it stays in place, though. Cause I did this different than I normally do it. Hmm, I should have done it the way I normally do it. Okay, but looks like it'll stay. So that's a slip. Now, once again, I've got the um, got the dress. I've got the dress right. So yeah, okay. So I think I'll take her up from the. Oh, wait a minute. See, I don't like the way this dress is. Okay, yeah, because there's, there's a piece of lace that's off. Hmm. There. Okay. Now it's even. Okay. So I'll open this up. And uh, I'll open it up. And put her in. Okay. Put her in. Yep. And then I'll keep the back in the back where it's supposed to be. Make sure I'm holding the back. And I will pull this tight. Look at that. Pull it tight. See? See, it's all pulled tight. Pull it tight. And now I'm going to do this one the way I should have done the other one which is 
Okay, which is, which is, I'm going to, hmm, I don't know how that works. Let's see, I did it last time. Put glue all the way around on the inside. Okay. And then pull it tight. See how that works. The back is in the back. Come on, before the glue dries, right? The back is in the back, and then you pull it tight, and then all that glue is there. Yeah. <laughs> and then all that glue is there. And then you sort of use the glue to keep it together. So I'm still pulling this tight, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stitches. I'm going to add some stitches from here. Not my finger. See? Yeah, no, that doesn't work when you have glue on it. Okay, I didn't do it like this last time, but anyway, I'm going to put some stitches right here. Yeah, see? I'm going to put some stitches right there. And then I'm going to put some stitches right there. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I did last time did last time was I took the thread and went around the neck. Mm, that's not going to work this time. No. No, 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 no. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put a couple more stitches in the back. See, it won't go through now that I've put glue on there. So I'm going to I'm going to take the thread off and I'm going to add some more glue on the inside. Okay. And pull so that and uh, adhere it to the neck that way so that it stays. Oh, she's cute. Let's see. Is that going to stay? I don't think so. Let's see. Put a little glue in here. Scissors out the way. Yep. I think that works. So there she is. Oh my gosh, I love this skirt. I gotta make me one. Definitely. But who's people look at me strange if I go out with a skirt with lace on the bottom? That's pretty old school, right? I might do it anyway. Look at that. That is so cute. That is so cute. She's got green shoes. I love this. Love this. Okay. Oh my gosh, she came out cute. I love that dress. I love this dress. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I'm going to stop um, fussing over it. See, see what's, what's got me um, fussing over it in the first place is because I know that some little kid's gonna play with it, and they're gonna they're gonna be rough, okay? The, you know, kids, right? And so I have to make it so it doesn't come apart. So that's why. But now what I'm gonna do is I've got this. It's a bigger lace than the lace on the on the skirt. And guess what? This is gonna be. I gotta find the right so <clears throat> the right side. I gotta even this up, so I gotta cut. 
pencil. Okay, that's nice and straight. And so this, this also is going to be gathered around. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to make it too long. I'm just going to guess right now and make it, make it this length. Make it that length. That's probably too much too. Mm. But anyway, we'll see. Um, so once again, I'm going to, I'm going to gather it. I'm going to gather it. And for this, I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up in it, and then I'm going to go in again just to secure this end so it doesn't come apart because this is space. So now, once again, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do. Oh, come on. I'm going to do a running stitch on this. It's what's called a running stitch. Or a base, basting stitch. Or a gathering stitch. Oh, what is this? There you go. So I'm going to continue again, just like the skirt. I'm going to continue to run this stitch all along the top of this lace. So, let's see. to the end. I hope you guys are seeing this. Okay, let's see. I want to take it all the way to the very end. There you go. Okay, so now see, I just pull this up and it's all gathered, right? But I pulled it too much. I don't want to pull it too much. Because, there you go, I've got to, it's got to go all the way around. It's got to go all the way around. There you go. Oh, she's looking fabulous, I have to say. She is looking fabulous. So, let's see. So I've got this like this, and I want to pull it. Okay, so now I can pull it so that she's all the way around and what I'm going to do is once again I get the, get the back get the back hmm I'm going to put some stitches in the back and join the two pieces. Join the two pieces together. Take it over twice. So, look at that. Oh my gosh, darling, you look fabulous. You look fabulous. 
Look at that. Look at that. Okay, she's... Well, she's ready. She is ready. So something tells me I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to tie a green bow around the top of this. Definitely. Just securing it. Like I said, I, I'm going to painstakingly do as many stitches as I can because some little kid's going to play with this and they're not going to be easy, okay? They're not going to be easy on my girl. So I have to make sure that she doesn't come apart. Ouch! Sugar. Okay, let's see. Another couple more stitches. Not on me, hopefully. Okay. Am I bleeding? No. Okay. So, let's cut it off here. Dang, I stuck myself pretty good, but I'm not bleeding, which is good. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that when I fluff up that collar. Isn't that cute? With her little green shoes. Wow. She's looking fancy. Girl, where you going? Huh? Where are you going? You going to church? Mm-hmm. You are looking mighty fancy. Okay, so... See, I've got to make sure I'm not bleeding because next thing you know, I'm hurting like I'm bleeding, but I'm not bleeding. Um, I'll have blood on, on what I'm working with, so that's that's one of the hazards, right? That's one of the hazards. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Do I put a bow on her? Do I put little rosettes around her neck? Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's see about some hair. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I can see this now. Now watch this. I'm going to make some hair. Where can I put her? Put her over here. Okay. I've got all kinds of stuff on this table. Let me move this um, paint because next thing you know, I have paint on my stuff. And I'll be mad, mad, mad. I'll be a very upset woman. So, hmm, how did I do this last time? Okay, yeah. I took a couple of lengths of this. Um, this is um yarn for the ladies who knit. I never knit. I ain't got time for knitting. You know, I ain't got time for that. Um, I did cross stitch. I do cross stitch. I like cross stitch, but I don't knit. So I take. I take a um, length of this and then I keep folding it like that. Okay. And then I take, I take a piece. Oh. oh, you know what? I'm gonna make another loop. I'm gonna make another loop with this. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to cut a piece, okay, I'm going to cut a piece, and then I'm going to set this in the middle, I'm going to set this in the middle, like that, okay, and then I'm going to put this across there like that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in the middle, okay, I'm going to tie it in the middle, I know my neighbor probably thinks, well, I'm not talking that loud, so he probably can't hear me. Probably thinks I'm talking to myself. But, um, there you go. Tie it like three times so it doesn't come loose. I love this yarn. This yarn is so uh, very nice. Very nice yarn. Okay, so now I have a bunch of hair, and I'm going to 
cut the wrong pieces off because I don't want because I don't want those pieces. And what we have here is where is she? What we have here is we have hair. Look at that. So I'm going to uh, Why does she have stuff in her hair? So where did that come from? Okay. Hey. I really don't know. She I don't like these two pieces. What the heck? There it is again. Okay, so what happens now is I um I glue that to the top. I glue that to the very top of her hair. To the very top. Oh, I need another um I need another glue stick. So I'm going to glue it to the very top of my hair. Okay. So I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue that like that, and stick it down. Make sure it's down. Okay. So there you, there you are so far. This tripod gets on my nerve. Okay. Can you see that? Oh, shoot. See, or can you see it better that way? Okay, so there she is. There's some hair on the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take at least one of them and, um, well, a couple of them, I guess. Yeah, a couple of them. And I'm going to um, glue it to the side, glue them down to the side so that they're all not sticking up. See that? And then I'm going to glue one to the other. Let's see. This one. Let's see. Yeah. That one. So again, I'm going to do the other side. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. So there you have it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave those free. And then I think, yeah, I, I kinda like that. I kinda like them free. Yeah, I kinda like that. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another bunch for the back. So again, see 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 what happens? Got all this all this fuzz from the um from the yarn on her skirt. You gotta try to keep your work clean. Okay, so once again, I'm going to, I'm going to um, take a length of this. And uh, what I did before, which was, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna keep folding it in half, okay? And then, see, this is long enough. Probably not. No, and I like it long enough so that I can, uh, let's see. Yeah. So once again, I'm going to put this in the middle. Put this in the middle. Like that. 
and then I'm going can you see that I just, I just put this piece down put the folded piece in the middle and then I'm going to tie it in the middle Tie it in the middle. There you go. And then I'm going to tie it again. And I'm going to tie it again to make sure it's secure. Okay. Give it a good, good tie because I'm, I'm going to tie it again just to make sure. Just to make sure. There you go. And um, as I said, I don't, I don't really like. Mm, let's see. Maybe I will leave it because maybe on the back I need to fill it in. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the back, and then I'm going to fill in the back of the head, the back of the spoon, that indentation in the back, with some hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue right to the top right here. Yep, I'm going to glue this right to the top, like that, and then I'm going to glue some inside, like that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, well, that's what I did. Let's see. I don't like that loose one, so I'm going to put... And I'm gonna bring it, uh, bring it, bring that down. If it stays, you know, got a lot, of, a lot of glue, glue strands. I love working with this glue, but everything has a hazard, right? You know, you should complaining because it allows me to do what I do. If it wasn't for the glue gun. Couldn't do a lot of things. The glue gun comes in handy, even for household stuff. Shoo. Let me tell you something. If you if you in the street and you rip your pants, you just might be glad you got a glue gun on you or something. But who carries the glue? Gun? But I'm just saying. But when you get home, I mean, you know, you you could put your pants back. To, you could put a hem back together with glue gun. You sure can. Okay. So again, I'm going to. Glue some more hair down in the back. Boy, that fireplace is cracks. Snapple crack pop over there. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. See? I think she came out cute. I like her. <sighs> but of course, I never, I can never leave it alone. So... I have to find something, some green ribbon to wrap around her neck, and then something to put in her hair. I guess it would be a flower or something. Oh, and since the other ones have earrings, where are we? Where are we? Let's see. Yeah, I want to show you my little tool that I use. I'm going to get some real small ones here. Here's a small one. And there's a small one. Yeah. See, I got a bunch of these things. I have them in different sizes, too. Look at that. I got a whole two of these things. And then I've got bigger ones. Look. Got bigger ones. Can you see that? Bigger ones. And I've got pearls. These are pearls. And, uh, oh, these are even bigger ones. So, yeah. I'm ready for whatever occasion. Let's go. I've got it ready. Okay, yeah, so let me show you my little tool. This is called a picker upper. I think this was cool. Yeah, pick me up, it's called. It says pick me up. I call it a picker upper. It says pick me up on here. And that's exactly what it does. So it's got some stuff on the end, like silly putty. And watch what's going to happen. I'm going to figure out exactly where I want her earrings to go. Mm 
Now you probably can't see this. Maybe you can. If I tilt her, they're going to fall off. But trust me, I've got them where I want them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it apart. Slide it on the, put a slide it to the side. And I'm going to put a little, see, I'm using the other one on the other side to gauge where this one should go. So I'm putting a little dab of, of uh, hot glue. And then I'm going to use my tool and I'm going to pick this up. See, it's stuck on the, it's stuck on there. And I'm going to place it on top of the glue. See, that's why I use this. So I'm going to slide this down. Again, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to gauge where the other one is to do the other one on the other side with a little tiny dab of glue. Okay, and then I'm going to use my pickup tool. I'm going to pick up that. It's on, it's on the bottom. Can you see? It's on the bottom. And then I'm going to place it on top of that little dab of glue. There you go. And then this tool at the bottom, this little sharp little tool, is what you can use to to push it down if you need to, if you think it's not down there. But it's down there pretty good. And then I usually take my finger and press it hard to make sure it's in there. And she's got diamonds. And she's got diamonds. Look at that. Isn't she cute? I love her. Okay, put this back where it belongs. I always put my stuff away. I try to keep a neat put on here, yeah, right? Okay, look at this table. Not so neat, right? But anyway, look at her hair. Look at the back. That's the back. Back of her head. The front of her head. She's got her eyes, her mouth, her earrings, her slip, her dress. She's ready to go. She's ready. Oh my gosh. I like her. Okay, but I, I need something for her hair because I just I just have to do I always have to do too much. I always have to do too much. So wait a minute. Mm. Okay, let's see. Here we go. I should be able to find something in here to put in her hair. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so she's green, right? Doesn't mean doesn't mean it has to be green. Oh, I'll find the stuff in here. Hmm. Doesn't have to be green. And this is too green. Oh, look at this. No, I think I want a thinner. To go around her neck. Let's see how this works. Mm, no, it's too wide. I think it's too. I think that's too wide. Do I have any more green ribbon in here? I don't. I don't. But let's see what else I have. Yeah. Okay. So here's some more green, but it's the same width. That's not. That's not the deal. Let's see. What else do I have here? Should I put something pink in her hair? No, I don't like that. That's not green. That's blue. Hmm. No, okay, wait a minute. This is green, but of course it's too big. It's too big. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Can she look like Miss Lady? Just oh, she's just doing too much. She just got a big old thing, big old bow in her hair. Wait a minute. Let's see. Or maybe no. In her hair? No, it's too big. It takes up more, too much of her face. That's not gonna work. It might have to be pink because I don't see anything green in here. And you know what? Let's see. But what I do see is I see some of these little, some of these little cute little rosebuds in white. Oh, shucks. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I think that looks cute. Let's see. I want to do a bow. Do I want to put one in the middle of the bow? Let's see. Get a good one. Get a good one. Yeah. Do I want to put one in the middle of the bow? Possibly. So I'll leave that out. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Sometimes I just have to, sometimes I gotta go through all my stuff trying to find something that works. But that worked out fine. Let's see. Now I have to find some green ribbon. If I have some green ribbon to make her a nice little bow. And she will be done. Done, done, done. Let's see. Okay, I can put that away later, right? Let's see, I'll be right back. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Let's see. No, that's a mess. Where's all my ribbon? Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, you would think I know where things are right now, right? Okay, let's see. That's because I have so much stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh. Let's see. Let's see what we find in here real quick. Because the people got to go. They don't have a night with this. Come on. Come on, Green Ribbon. Where are you? Uh, I, don't, I don't see any Green Ribbon. I don't see any Green Ribbon. You know what? Let's pretend I put some Green Ribbon on her and you guys liked it. And I'll post a picture later. Because you guys don't want to see me go through that. But what I will do is I will put these rose buds in her hair. Because that is really looking cute. Let's see. Put one there. See, you got to get the glue off. Because then the glue sticks to your project. So any glue that you get on your hand, you got to get it off. Because it'll stick to your stuff. Okay, and then here's the other one. And put it right next to that one right there. And there she is. So I'm going to put this one on the side. Because I'm going to find some green ribbon, trust me. So there she is. Look at that. Look at that. I think she's ready. That green ribbon around the collar is going to look nice, though. Yeah. So she's ready. Okay, I'm going to start fussing over her. Put her over there because she's, she's complete. Now back to this girl. Okay. Oh, yeah, i got to keep her covered up because her dress, her dress, her dress. Now, I'm going to go back to the eyes real quick. This is going to be finished in a minute. I'm going to go back to her eyes. All right. You know what? It's almost like, see, that paint is so unforgiving. It's almost like i got to do some paint. Use paint instead of these markers because the markers are working. Yeah, the marker's not working. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to do a little black paint before I throw that other thing away. But we'll see. see. Hmm. Oh, see, this is, this is not going to, oh, you know what? Maybe I need my toothpick for this. Where's that toothpick I had? Threw it away. I threw the toothpick away. I'll be right back. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I have the thing of toothpick on here? Oh, there we go. Yep. So, what I need to do is, again, have to... Put a little bit of black paint on this. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Oh, I hate that. 
toothpick? Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens with this toothpick. Yeah, that's working. Let's see, do the other one. It's working. Okay, let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do her eyelashes again because I got messed up. There you go. Okay. Okay. So now, um, yeah, what I need to do now is I need to, I need to seal her. And again, because she's got a dress on, I'm going to have to be really careful. So there's this, oh, see, I let it sit there with the thing, with the glue on it. And now it's, let me see if I wash this off real quick. Got my tea over here waiting for me. Okay. All right, so yeah, I need to seal her. And it's amazing how nice and shiny they look once you apply this oh sugar 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 no see oh that's what happens the black dot for her eye it spread oh no no, 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 no. Hmm. Darn it. Oh, jeez. Just making this worse. Because the brush got black paint on it. Hmm. And I mixed a special color. I mixed a special color for her face. Because um, this is white with some pink in it to give her that color. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And if I put white, let's see. If I put white, I'll be right back. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to just see I rushed this particular doll anyway which is why I'm having this issue because I remember this is the one I put the dress on first but before doing the face again always do the face first and then you put the dress on but I couldn't wait to see how that dress was gonna look 
and I did it the opposite. See, I smeared the paint on her face. You see that? So now I've got to go and mix white with some pink and cover up that black spot. Okay? And I'm not going to put you guys through that. So, but anyway. And you see, I didn't even do her shoes. I didn't do her shoes. So it's the face and the shoes, and then you coat it with this Mod Podge, and then you put the dress on. So yeah, I rushed it. But anyway, this is her. This is her. I got some cleaning up to do. This is her. And this is that fabulous dress that I made that I like so much that I couldn't wait to put up, right? See? It goes off to the side. See that? Look at that. Mm hmm So that's her. I mean, I like the way the face came out. If I didn't have that mishap, she, she would be looking gorgeous right about now. And that's her in the back. I put a little, um, what is it, a pearl? Put a little pearl back here. And this is the way the dress looks in the back. Paint, get out the way. See? Okay. So, so that's her, right? That's that one. And this is what I have to show you. Now, you watched me make her. You watched me make her. And that's her. And this is what I got to show you. Look at the other ones I made. Look at her. Is she fabulous or what? Now, when I finished her, she reminded me of my mother for some reason. Because my aunt and I were laughing the other day, saying about how my mother used to get dressed to the nine just to go shopping. So she said, um, my aunt was saying that my mother would be dressed. And she would say, Iris, where are you going? She was, And she would be like, I'm going shopping. Going up 125th Street, down to Delancey. Dressed to the nines. Pocketbook, gloves, and the whole nine yards, I want to tell you. Okay? So when I finished her, I like, okay, yeah, that looked like mom's. That looks like mom's. And uh, she's got black shoes, I guess. Yeah, she's got black shoes on. But check out the hat. Check out the hat. This is her in the back. Cute, right? Love the way it came out. So that's that one. Okay? And then... I made her. She was supposed to be a little black ballerina. Okay. I think I made her look like a ballerina. And um, I wrapped her with a ribbon on the bottom. So she's got her little tutu dress. Right? And I love her face. And you see I did her hair the same way I did the other one. And uh, yeah, she's got, she's got diamond earrings. Can you see that? Close. She's got diamond earrings, bows in her hair, and then I did a little embellishment on the back. So that's that one. Check this one out. Look at this little girl. What does she have on? She's been watching TV, right? She knows all about the COVID. Look, she's ready. She's not going out without her mask. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And she's got earrings, too. Can you see? She's got, she's got earrings too. How cute is that? Look, some little girl's gonna like her. And uh, that's her back. I like her dress. Does she have a slip? No, she doesn't have a slip. So that's her. Isn't that mask so cute? Take a look at that mask, will you please? <laughs> so cute. Okay, and then of course. This is the first one I did. This this lady, she's fabulous too. Look at that. So that's that one. That's this one. It's all my girls. That one. And the one that looks like mom's. Okay. And uh, and this one. So I'm gonna take a picture and put it up. I found this stand that I bought for something else to display something else. And I'm going to use this to display them. Look at that. Okay. That's her standing up. Cute. So if I do an event, which I do craft shows, this is how I'll display it on the table. Okay. Like that. Because I tried to figure out some, some other thing to do to have them stand up. I was going to have a styrofoam and make a hole in it and just sit them in the styrofoam. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I found this stand. Oh, it's a picture stand. A picture easel, they call this. It's an easel. 
and I found that. So that's that one. And this is Miss Lady who's not finished. That's her. Okay. And which other one? And this is the Miss Lady with the mask. The cutie pie with the mask. The little cutie pie with the mask. Come on, baby. You can stand up. There you go. And then who's this one? This one. She's cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, guys. So, thanks for riding with me. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. I'm glad I could uh, show you some of this process. Okay? Well, I'm going to bed. I'm going to make me some tea, a nice cup of tea, and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.